As the financial reporting season enters full gear, one of the most visible announcements has been the change of leadership in a number of high-profile listed and non-listed firms in the country. General Motors East Africa has had a change of guard, with Rita Kavashi taking over from American national Bill Lay, who served the company for 36 years and occupied the CEO seat for 10 years. Kavashe, a Kenyan national, has been a GMEA in different capacities for the past 15 years. Still with the motor industry, Martin Hamilton Foster left CMC Motors as a group chief executive several weeks ago. The board, which is yet to appoint a replacement, named an interim committee led by Peter Muthoka to guide operations. The firm is a local franchise dealer of Land Rover, Range Rover, Mazda, Suzuki and Massey Ferguson farm machines, among other brands. Everready East Africa Steve Smith was the first high-profile figure whose impending exit from the CEO's seat was made public. He's set to retire at the end of May. Everready, a dry cell manufacturer, has undergone a difficult couple of years, mainly due to more competitively priced imported products, many of them illicit. The new CEO, who is yet to be announced, will assume the overall management of the firm, operating in a tough market, and is likely to face a daunting task in delivering value to investors, who have seen their stock plummet in value in the recent past to trade flat for a long period of time. Earlier this year, Barclays Bank also laid off 200 middle-level managers as part of its overall cost containment strategy. These management changes usually happen around the reporting season, perhaps as a reflection of changing market conditions and result-driven demands from shareholders, or with long-serving heads opting to exit. I'm Terry Anchebet reporting for Citizen Business.